everyone, it's Chelsea from Paper Octeo Studio, and today I'm sharing with you day 22 of the 100 Day Project 2021 that I am challenging me myself to. Uh, with the 100 Day Project, you pick something that you want to do for 100 days every day, and I picked mixed media collage small pieces. And so I've been doing these on different sizes of small canvases. And this one is a five by seven canvas panel. But before we get into that, uh, I decided, because my friends are doing it, that I would do like some, some doodle pieces that you kind of cut out and you set them aside for later for collage. Uh, Peg's doing it, Vicky's doing it, I'm not sure who else, but um, I decided I would try to do that. I'm not a big doodler, but I do sit in front of the television at night and um, I figured, well, why not? So I took a piece of cardboard and a bowl clip and I just um, picked out some rice paper and a couple different types of pens and I just decided to do it, why not? So these two little pieces that I've torn out are uh, rice paper, a different rice paper, a thicker rice paper than I used for gel printing the other day, if you guys were watching. Um, it's a little bit different than that, It's, but it's still got a smooth side and a rough side. It's just thicker, less flimsy. And these two pieces were, were done with two different types of pins. This one, uh, doodle of a face. I mean, that was like the type of doodle where you kind of keep your pin down and you just keep going, like you don't lift it up. Um, I don't do that very often, but I thought it was kind of fun, and I decided to use it today. That one was done with something called an Elegant Writer. When you get the Elegant Writer wet with water, it bleeds out, and it bleeds out with turquoise and pink. It's a weird pen. Kind of fun. Different. I took a class one time from Creations by Cece um, with that particular pen, and she also used some of the other Elegant Writers in addition and I don't know, I don't do much with it, but I thought it might be kind of fun to doodle with it. The other one was done, I think, with probably my Pentel pocket brush, because that is one of them that I was using. I also had out some other, uh, a set of light gray, dark gray, and black pins in two different sizes that um, are from the brand, so strange, it's Pin, P-I-N. And I use those sometimes for illustrations. So I was just, just doodling whatever came into my head. Um, I think I did look at Pinterest. I have a doodle Pinterest board that um, I, I made up one time. I thought, oh yeah, I'm going to be a big doodler. I'm going to doodle. I'm going to zentangle. I'm going to do all that stuff. Uh, didn't happen. <laughs> it's just really not my thing. But this is going to work out really well for, um, for this project to have and in and future pr projects to have little things already drawn that you could just you know mess around with it's kind of like having a tissue paper that's been stamped with permanent ink I've done a couple swaps before where I've swapped my stamped images with other people's stamped images and then you just have that image and you can use it use it collage it on with the tissue paper color it whatever way you want because tissue paper kind of disappears, and so does this rice paper. It's kind of got the same properties while being um, sturdier, less likely to tear when you get water on it. So for my background, I decided to use these King Art gel sticks that I have. Uh, I think I have 48 colors of them, and they are a water-soluble product, and they're very creamy. And I got out a few colors. I was thinking about a color called blush, which I was, <laughs> this is so weird. This is how my brain works. I was watching a, a home show, right? Where they fix up homes. It was a flipping show. I think it's called Flipping Across America and they compare two different uh, flipping teams. Anyway, they did this door on one of them that, that they said was blush, which was kind of a light peachy pink and I wanted to play with that color. I don't know why. I saw it and I thought, you know what? That's a pretty cool color. And I, I think it was popular maybe a couple years ago. It was like a big trend to get, you know, to paint everything with this color. It was just a really um, 
it seems a very feminine color to me because it's, you know, in that whole range of, of pinks, I guess, although more orangey, it's kind of this light orange. It's kind of similar actually to that new paint that I got that's Naples Red Light. Naples Red Light color, strange color, just kind of peach or blush or I don't know. Anyway, I decided to use it. So I picked that one and then I picked like a medium pink and an orange and another one that was a metallic that was kind of like a mauve um, pinky purple and I scribbled those all, all over my background and then I blended them with my finger and some white gesso because remember I told you this product is water soluble and I, I did want to blend it I wanted to get it blended into the texture of the canvas but I wanted to do it with something that would make it more permanent so I did it with white gesso on my finger blend it around and then I did um, remove some of it with to get some pattern with a stencil and a baby wipe then I put my rice paper pieces on and I put that kind of weird thing down at the bottom because it reminded me of a statement necklace like a big chunky necklace that you would wear as a statement you know what I'm talking about you've seen these before and um, that's why I put it there I just thought it was interesting and so I did that then I started to color these and I had already like watercolored out those that elegant writer pin so it did have this kind of washy effect which the other piece didn't which did bother me a bit but it ended up I ended up being fine with it they just they looked different to start out with so I'm using odd weird colors to do the coloration and I'm just using those gel sticks still I've got orange lavender blue pink um, that blush color and a couple different blues a couple different pinks then I then I went with aqua or turquoise color for the hair um, I don't know why I just thought it looked good <laughs> And I do add a little bit of color to the little odd shapes at the bottom as well. I'm kind of wiping back some of the the gel stick after I do the blending because it goes over the black lines. And, you know, it's the same thing. I put the black lines on. I get the black lines. They're off. They're covered. I've got to go over them again. I have this whole thing <laughs> with lines and this whole process in it I was, I was trying to maybe uh chill out the process a little bit by wiping some of it back with the baby wipe um, that stuff does wipe off really easy so I of course I'm going to go and spray this with a few coats of spray sealer to get everything sealed in because this is definitely not it, it's ready to wipe off at any time so uh, once I'm finished deciding to put in a little bit of color here and there, then I move to the next step, which is collage. Of course, I've already collaged on those, those rice paper pieces, but I need some more. I need to glue some more paper down because that's just what I do. And these pieces are mixed media collage pieces. All 100 of them will be mixed media collage pieces. So get all my scraps these are still just the ones on my desk still haven't managed to clear them all out I did a project that you'll see later in the month probably towards the end of the month uh, a swap and I used a ton of paper little pieces of paper I picked every little piece of pink that I had out of these two trays and just made the, the, I just collaged pink like crazy pink and purple and I still have tons of paper and I have so much more paper I mean this is like just the two little trays on my desk of leftover bits I have I have plastic bins full of paper I've got paper everywhere so yeah it's 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 a thing but I do love to collage so I guess it's okay right I just I need to to go through one of these days when I have a second I need to go through and sort it out all out by color again because I've kind of gotten out of the habit of doing it and it's it's smart to have it sorted in categories 
That way you can just grab the bins that you want that are the colors you think you're going to use. Since my whole whole art life is so color driven, that's an easy way for me to handle it. I just have gotten way behind and there's paper everywhere and there's products everywhere. And I just, I really need to focus on getting things back into order sometime soon. It's it's not something I enjoy. I don't like to to sort and categorize and clean and all that type of stuff. Blech. I'd rather just make more messes. So once I've picked out all my pieces and I'm, I'm bringing in some colors that I didn't use to begin with uh, into the piece by bringing this kind of limey green color, which I really thought went well with the other colors. And I'm also adding more uh, green, blue, aqua colors into the hair. I tore those pieces into little circles because I've got this kind of wavy, curly thing going on with her hair. And I like the funky way that looks. I think she probably puts her hair up in pen curls like my mom used to do to mine way, way back in the day. <laughs> little pen curls. They, they uh, hurt, actually, I thought. Um, you would curl your hair up into like a coil and then pin it with a couple of these pinchy uh, pin things. I just hated it, but it did make really nice curls. So I think that's what she does with her hair probably because she looks like a classy lady like that. So I'm gluing everything down and, um, you know, I'm using for the, for the rice paper, I guess I didn't mention this. For the rice paper, because it's so much like a tissue paper or a really thin paper, I used Liquitex Matte Fluid Medium. But for the rest of these papers that I'm gluing on, I use, I'm using the Liquitex Gel Matte Medium, um, which is my favorite, of course. So, because the thicker pieces glue down better with that. And, but the thin pieces, you want something that's going to soak. If you want it to, the paper to be translucent when you glue it down and have some of the background show through, then you do use a fluid medium that's going to soak into the paper and um, completely saturate it so that it gets more, more uh, see-through. I also added this little punch-out shape. I think it's from a die cut that I did the other day. That's kind of like a heart shape, bringing in a little bit of the deeper the deep, deeper pink purpley color, magenta. I really do think about color more than anything else, I think. Um, my color combinations are what I think about. And of course, composition and pattern, I mean those things too. But the reason that I love color so much is because I do bring in pattern along with, did I say collage? I did say that right. Not sure exactly what I said. Anyway, the reason I like collage is because I bring in so much pattern with the with the papers, with the painting papers and stencil papers and gel prints and printed papers. Um, it brings in a lot of pattern in addition to color. So I've got everything glued down and I'm going to give it a good dry, of course, because got to get it dry before you start doing pins. But then it's time to do pins. Got to do pins next. So I've got my Pentel pocket brush pin. This one is India ink in a, a flexible brush pin. Love this pin. Think that everyone should have one if you don't have one already. Someone told me the other day that they went looking for Pentel pocket brushes and they found um, some that were had designs on the on the barrel. Like mine's so dull and boring and they're like, oh yeah. They come in different designs and they're all pretty. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> sign me up. So then I also have out my fine tip black and my fine tip white Posca paint pens. These have acrylic paint in them and they will write over just about anything. When you are writing over this gel stick, um, I do scrape off my pen onto my scratch paper pretty often with with the, the the Posca pens because they can get their little tips clogged and if you just write them off before it dries because that that gel stick is a little bit waxy or something and it does maybe clog a little bit 
but it's a fun product. I like having all those different colors. I like to be able to blend it. And it, it was one of my weird, um, in the middle of the night, I saw it on Instagram purchases. Someone told me that you can, you can buy them in other places, but, um, I saw them and I thought, you know, look at all those colors. I mean, did I really need that? Probably not, but just look at all those colors. And the, this, this little canvas shows how you can use it for sure. If you happen to have something like this, um, I know that Marabou company makes a gel stick thing that looks exactly like this with this same weird, um, I want to say tampon shape, <laughs> but I don't know, kind of a long oval. They do have something that looks exactly like it. And I can't tell you if it is the same, but um, sure looks like it. So, yeah. So I'm just continuing to fuss. I decide to make her eyes that really bright, limey green uh, color. I don't know if I've done it yet. I can't really tell because the, the editing screen is so tiny. But um, that really helped to bring together that green piece on the left. And then I had another little piece of it up on the right hand upper side. And having the light green there in her eyes brought that that you br brings your eye up a little bit and makes it uh, so that you do notice the green, which was an, an addition after the fact. So I hope you guys have been enjoying this video. It's a little bit different than my little abstract ones, but it's pretty fun and different and weird. And uh, you'll see me be using those TV doodles more. I might actually start watercoloring some of them um, that's what my friends are doing. And so I might do that to make, make my doodles, watercolor doodles, um, at night, maybe if I still continue to do it, it just seems like a better thing to do than to look at my phone while I'm watching TV, which is what I often do. I'll turn on like a Netflix thing or something, and then I will sit there and look at Instagram and Facebook and, um, you know, answer comments on my phone sometimes. And I, probably doodling would be a better use of my time than that, that uh, screen staring thing that sometimes happens to us. I know none of you do that. I'm the only one in the entire world who does that, right? <laughs> Not. So I'm pretty much, I think, finishing up with my white Posca pen and getting some highlights on there here and there. I guess I needed to bring out my gel sticks again. The one thing that I do need to do is change the gel sticks into a different storage container. These are great. I'm not I'm saying I'm not saying that they're bad. They're great. But I can't get them open fast enough. <laughs> I'd like to just have them in a basket or something like I do some of my other things like my Stabilo Woodies and different things like that are just in a basket where I can just dig through. It's also satisfying to be able to just dig through, you know. But anyway, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment or question below. I'll answer you around within 24 hours. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And turn on your notification bells if you haven't already. And of course, you can share this on Pinterest or something like that. That's it for me. Thanks. Bye-bye.